Hey, thanks for watching. Shane Fozard here, and today I'd like to give you a video review of The Biology of Belief, written by Dr. Bruce Lipton. Are you interested in learning more about your body's ability to heal itself and the impact that your emotions and your environment is gonna have on your ability to heal or to prevent disease? If so, then this is something that you'd be interested in reading. So Dr. Bruce Lipton is a stem cell biologist and he's written this book to bridge the gap between science and spirit. And really what that means is really understanding the impact that energy can have over your biology. Um, his groundbreaking research has really helped the emergence of a really exciting form of science called epigenetics, which is understanding now that we can turn on and turn off genetic expression. The big promise of this book is that every single one of us can take back influence over improving our health and our wellness and really preventing disease from taking place. Understanding that we need to move away from being a victim of our genetic makeup. If you are the sort of person where you just want to live your life by sticking your head in the sand, uh, just doing all the things that you know you shouldn't be doing, hoping you can get as far as you can without the consequences catching up with you, then don't read this book. But if you're the sort of person where you really do want to take your health to the next level, you're ready to be the co-creator of your life, of your wellness, of your health, and you want the backing of science behind you to really drive some of those behaviors and some of that uh, uh, psychological conditioning that is going to be required to get these results, then you're going to love this book. One of the big core messages that really stood out for me uh, sort of reinforced an existing belief I already had, which is that we all need to understand that we are the co-creator of our own life and the situation we find ourselves in, rather than being someone that is at, uh, being a victim or at the, the effect of the things that are handed to us. So it's really focusing on what we can control and therefore we can control our emotions, and therefore we can also start to learn how we can control our biochemistry through our emotions as well as our environment. Another big core message that stood out for me was learning more about epigenetics and that it's really our understanding how genetic expression can be turned on and turned off uh, and that a big influence to that is our environment, both our internal environment and our external environment, knowing that 95% of disease and illness can be improved, uh, prevented by focusing on the environmental factors rather than being a victim of the genetic sort of predisposition. Another powerful core message that really stood out was just reinforcing the fact that uh, prescription medication, whilst it does serve a purpose, mostly just uh, resolves the symptom rather than the cause. And it actually helps people almost not take or ignore their own personal involvement and responsibility in creating the situation they find themselves in. Um, it's, he describes it as if you have a warning sign on the, the car dashboard, it's like just sticking black tape over that, that warning light so you can just ignore it completely, not knowing that the engine is probably being more and more damaged. Another really powerful core message that stood out for me was that our thoughts can consume as much energy as running a marathon. And it's why it's so important for us to really take control over our emotional discipline so that our energy is not being expended in a way where we're dealing with stress and turmoil and drama. And so we can actually better use that energy to heal our bodies. Not only that, but you can learn how to use your conscious mind to stimulate health promoting hormones so you really can take your health to that next level and give your body the best opportunity to repair and heal itself. Overall, I'd say I'm gonna give this book an eight out of 10. If you are wanting to learn more about health and the impact that energy has to health, this is a fantastic book. It is a little bit uh, science heavy at the start. Uh, Louis talks about sort of quantum theory, so it can be a little bit mind bending, but I highly recommend it if you really do want to understand how your beliefs, how your thoughts really do impact your biology and the science behind that. So thanks for watching. I'll speak to you again soon. Bye for now.